I felt like goosebumps all up and down, inside and outside of me. You're overwhelmed? <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. I... You just walked a lot. She would normally be winded by now. You'd be out of breath? If you don't think God is still pulling people out of wheelchairs today, and not that he did it over 2,000 years ago, but they were stuck somewhere, right? Then you're going to love this video. Make sure you watch till the end. Guys, wait, wait, wait. I know you're watching the video right now, but this is so important. I need you to tell me how I can pray for you today. Ah, we merching out here, guys. We have merchandise. We're always coming out with something new. I mean, check that out. Isn't that awesome? Like, you can wear this shirt, and then people are going to come up to you and be like, I need prayer, like, right now, just from wearing that shirt. So here's what I need you to do. If you want some of this new merch, go to www.thesupernaturallife.org and pick up some brand new merchandise today. And remember, we always have something new coming out. All right, that's all I got to say now. Enjoy the rest of the video. I want to get to this prayer line, but give me, I want to, I want to help my friend out right here really fast. So what's going on? I, I have bad lungs. You do? Yeah, I can't walk without, I haven't walked really fast. Without breathing hard? Right. So you can walk though? I can walk. Just not I breathe good? My breath, Did I you can. bring her? Who is this? My stepmom. Your stepmom? And you are? I call her mom. Her husband? Hmm. Then you need to be healed, huh? Yes. You know, when I'm doing these revival meetings, people in wheelchairs stick out like a sore thumb. They really do. I mean, you can tell there's a problem. Some ministers don't like to deal with a lot of people in wheelchairs because they don't know what's going to happen. But I will shoot my shot on every one of them. What do I mean? I will go by faith and pray for them and pray that the result happens. You know, I believe Jesus said, lay hands on the sick and they'll recover. So that's what I do. You'll see with this woman, she had breathing problems and she hadn't walked really good in a long, long time. But you're about to see what the power of God is going to do for her. So let's do something. Put your hand on her neck for me. Take my hand. I'm going to talk to our God, okay? You ready? So, Jesus, you know you can talk to him like this much. Lord, we love her, and I know you love her way more. It's okay. But I love her too because she's like, like a mom or something, you know. So, Lord Jesus, I'm asking you, by your grace and by your mercy, heal this woman's lungs, heal her esophagus, allow her to walk again, allow her to breathe again, extend her life and Lord as I lift her out of this chair renew her strength Lord as in her youth and allow her to walk long distances without getting winded I command right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every spirit of infirmity to be broken off of you I command your body to be completely healed now I tell you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ receive grace <sighs> Now look, when you're in these situations, faith is pretty much the biggest gift involved because it takes faith to activate the other thing. So the gift of faith has to rise up within you. Like when I go up to these situations, I don't go going, well, maybe this won't happen. Or I'm not result driven. I am God driven. And if I'm God driven, that means the Holy Spirit is driving me, then I know the results are going to be amazing. I go believing every single time I'm going to have a miraculous Result and rise and walk. Come on, come on, come on. Help her up. Walk with me. Let's let's see how you do. Okay, you can let her go.
reasons I make them get out of the wheelchair and act instead of just pray for them and say, one day you're going to get better. Now, of course, if the Holy Spirit told me to say that, I would. But I do it because it takes action. Faith is action. So I say, all right, get up and walk. And they get up and they walk. And then God's power moves through them in that act of faith. They believe. So by them moving out of that wheelchair, it's an act of belief. They get out, they move, and you see the result of it. And it's an amazing result. And it glorifies our wonderful, amazing King, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior. You're overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> she does. Her skin's got goosebumps. <laughs> wow. Let me go. Walk. You'd be out of breath? Yes. Oh. Ain't that cool? That's dandy. That's dandy. <laughs> wow. When something like this takes place, when these type of miracles manifest, it builds the faith in the room and it causes people to be ready to receive their miracle also. You, you see it every time. They go, wow. This happened for this woman. Now, somebody else might have breathing problems. They may have bad knees. They may have trouble walking. They may have trouble um, moving their shoulders, whatever it may be. When they see the power of God do something like this, they're more ready, I would say, being in that atmosphere to receive their miracle. Jesus gives us life and life more abundantly. Today, the Lord has healed you. The nodules are gone. You're going to be able to walk and be strengthened. Watch this. Let me tell her this, as you go, you're going to feel even more strength and even more restoration. The wheelchair is not your identity. The Lord wants you to be able to do some stuff and he wants you to be able to walk. Thank you. Amen. 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 Bless you, my Bless you. Get up and walk. go down to that chair over there. my gosh look at this miracle look at this miracle wow 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 my sister nice to meet you, nice to meet you. my goodness you are a walking miracle aren't you it's amazing <laughs> it's absolutely amazing i'm i'm overwhelmed <clears throat> i came in the wheelchair because i can't walk very far daniel got me walked across the floor there and I didn't even get a short of breath. He did several times back and forth. Usually you, you, you'll have shortness of breath. Right, right. I usually have shortness of breath. I'm just praising the Lord for Daniel. And here's prayer is touching. Here's his gift. He has a wonderful gift. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. I, I was able to get up and walk without feeling short of breath. <laughs> and I feel like it's the beginning. He said it, it's progressive. I think that's what he meant. That uh, it'll just get stronger and better as as it goes along. I think so. I'm not discouraged on that. I'm just grateful that I can work up to it and have goals too. But uh, I felt like goosebumps all up and down inside and outside of me. I just felt, oh, the touch <laughs> of the Holy Spirit. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Oh, it's just wonderful. I mean, just one touch from Jesus, everything changes, huh? Yes, one touch from Jesus. You're right. Oh, my God. Uh, you're right. I, I thought uh, 
a week ago, it'd be hard for me to come. And I pray for the Lord to open the doors for me. If they want me to come, to help me be fit enough to go, come, be able to come. And he provided the wheelchair and he opened the door for me to come. I had no reason not to come. I, my life would feel pretty good. And I was going to come. And I'm glad I came. I'm glad everything worked out that we could come. He answered a prayer and I felt like that the Lord had something for me if I came, and and He did. Sure he does. <laughs> that was that was a, a a big package of miracle, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a miracle. Wow. I I just praise the Lord. I mean, that's so amazing. I mean, if you guys just watch the clip uh, as we put it in the testimony. Um, I mean, the atmosphere in the room shifted when we saw this miracle taking place with our, our own eyes. I mean, we saw you on the wheelchair. You had witnesses there to testify that, look, hey, my, mom, my, my mother could not walk without having the shortness of breath. But all of a sudden, I mean, you had some pep in your step. And I mean, faith was just in the room. And, and we just seen just the joy and the excitement. Yeah. And you were kind of shocked about it, oh too. Gosh, right? I was in shock. I was surprised. <laughs> I you didn't know you could do that. I didn't know I could do that. I didn't, <laughs> without hanging on to somebody and walking with them. Wow. So, That's so amazing. It's a, it's, a, it's a miracle. It is. Amazing. And I praise the Lord for it. Give, give the, the, that Jesus the, the credit for it, for helping me be able to get up and, and uh, walk a little ways. And, and, and it'll get better, too. And I believe that the nodules will be healed. So I've had three blood clots in my lungs. And like I said, my lungs give me trouble. But I feel like I'm on the right road. Amen. I pray that God has freed me, has yes. set me free. Yes, amen. Yes, he has. Wow, that was powerful. I mean, guys, this has just really... I mean, my faith right now is just on a whole nother level. Just, I mean, I if you were in the house, I mean, you had to witness it. I mean, it was just a miracle that was taking place right before our eyes. And like this mighty woman of God is saying here, I mean, just one touch from Jesus literally just changed everything in her life. And I believe she's going to continue to testify of the miraculous power of Jesus Christ that he can still heal. He still heals today. I mean, it was so amazing thank you for sharing that testimony amen and i believe it's going to really encourage a lot of people that are watching this um and maybe you're believing god for a miracle in your life and um i just pray that you know what god did for her she he can definitely do for you um and i just pray man that the lord will encounter you in such a way that you won't even doubt his supernatural power. You won't even doubt your faith in him. I mean, because he is such a good, loving, faithful God. Man, y'all, this has been just a, a, a jam-packed Holy Ghost party uh, in NorCal, guys. I really pray this encouraged you guys. Uh, this has been day three, guys. I mean, we, we had such a blast here. We can't wait to come back. Um, and if this really encouraged you guys, let us know down below in the comment section. Please like, subscribe to our YouTube page, guys. Uh, become a forerunner, guys. We have hubs all around the world. We want you to be a part of the TSNL family. We're training up the body for the work of ministry, guys. So this is it for now, guys. Until we meet again, guys, it is finished. God bless you guys until we meet again. Remember, it's so important to testify after receiving a healing like this. Like you see this woman, she's testifying. She's giving glory to God for what he did for her. There was 10 lepers. One came back and gave glory to Jesus for what he did. And you see so many times people will get touched and they'll just leave the service. They don't tell anybody about what God has done for them. And well, you never hear from them much anymore. And sometimes people get healing. They come back three years later and say, praise God. So I'm not saying you can't come back later and testify. But when Jesus has done for something for you, give him all the glory, honor, and praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for healing me. That's why when you look at some other ministers' videos from the past, people will always go, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because they're giving glory to Jesus Christ for what he has done in their body and in their life. So always be thankful for what Jesus has did. Always testify and give glory to the one who deserves it all, Jesus Christ, and you will sustain that miracle. I wanted to tell you all, if it's your first time watching, make sure you subscribe, 
hit the notification bell so you can be notified when videos come out and like let's push it into the algorithm by liking this video smash it now every last one of you like 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 and share and let me know in the comments what you think about this video does this video seeing this help increase your faith to believe for your miracle it helps me to know that this helps you because when I pray over the chat, I believe you'll receive the same miracle also. Matter of fact, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, receive your miracle now in Jesus' name. See, that's simple. If you watch the video, she got healed. You get healed too in Jesus' name. So once again, first time watching, subscribe. Also, I want you to get involved. Get involved with this ministry. Get discipled, okay? So go to www.thesupernaturallife.org and become a forerunner today. You have to go there. Like, what are you waiting for? Like, go there now. Go to the website, hit the link, become a forerunner, and get involved. Look, trust me, all jokes aside, there was no jokes anyway. But anyway, all jokes aside, you need to definitely go there and become a forerunner because trust me, the grace on this ministry is amazing. You might think I'm biased, but... I know what this ministry carries and I know what it's doing for people all over the world. So go to the website and become a forerunner today. But for now, that's the end of this video. I'll see you all on the next one in Jesus name.